Hey everyone, it's Dr. Alexis, and I just wanted to make sure you are aware of the new additional tools we now have in our toolbox to help us identify COVID-19 patients. So in addition to the fever, the cough, and the shortness of breath, skin eruptions are now being linked to COVID-19. The U.S is rapidly confirming the data that was originally reported out of Italy, suggesting that one in five patients have skin manifestations. And of those, 44% occur at the onset of the other symptoms. It's important to become familiar with the most common skin signs to help rapidly identify COVID-19 patients and decrease the spread of the disease. Okay, let's jump into what to look for. Urticaria. This is more commonly known as hives, but these are going to be raised wills that can present anywhere on the body. Acral ischemia has also been seen. This is going to be painful red fingers and toes. Remember, on your darker skin patients, the redness may not be so evident. Morbilliform like eruptions. So a rash that is bumpy or splotchy commonly on the trunk of the body. So look for something on the chest, the abdomen, or the back. Levito reticularis has also been seen. This is a transient lacy red blood vessel kind of pattern and it appears more purple to brown on darker skin, so more violaceous. Vesicular eruptions, so think chicken pox or shingle like blisters that are red at the base and petechial eruptions, so tiny blood dots that happen underneath the skin. Just like the fever and the cough, these skin signs can occur completely independent of the virus, so don't freak out. If anything, just stay home, consult a dermatologist via telemedicine, you should be in the house anyway, and remember, our skin's our largest organ. It gives us a window into the body, and it's a great representation of our overall health. I hope that this helps you and a loved one stay healthy, stay home, and stay safe.